Hey folks, it's Owen here from the Scottish History Podcast, bringing you another Whiskey Wednesday. This week we're going to be diving into the Tomatin Decades 2, um, of which uh, I have here. Now the bottle has now been opened, uh, however this is the first pour from it. Um, I started recording this video and then uh, yeah, had to start it all over again. Uh, so Tomatin Decades 2 is going to be... Uh, our dram uh, this week. I've never had this one, much like the uh, the one that we had last week. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. Uh, so just about the Tomatin Decades too. Let me just kind of read off of the Tomatin website here for you. So basically, Tomatin Decades Two is a truly unique and exquisite expression. A marriage of 21 casks selected from key years throughout the last five decades. So that's what the Tomatin website is saying. So uh, it spent time maturing in a mixture of um, Scotch whiskey, ex bourbon, ex sherry, and recharred French oak casks from the last 50 years. Um, so we should be getting notes of Christmas cake, maple syrup, fresh red berries, giving way to tropical fruits ahead of a long, waxy, tropical finish. Uh, so once again, it's uh, bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. So that's going to be what, 80, so that'll be what, 92, 92% proof for those of you that prefer proof. Uh, and uh, it's the limited edition once again. So there's only three, just over three and a half thousand bottles available out there. Um, there was decades one uh, before. Uh, which obviously has now sold out, so there is now decades two. Um, so let's have a look. So the casks which they've used are wow. There's there's so they've got casks from the seventies, eighties, nineties, two thousands, and uh, the twenty tens as well. That's uh, just incredible. So the tasting notes for this whiskey is. Um, Let's have a look. An initial burst of citrus fruits. So we're looking for the sort of lemons and limes. Uh, hints of sweet pastry. And wood shavings. So obviously there's going to be a wee bit of uh, kind of wood in there. Uh, cooked fruits balanced by softer floral and coconut tones. So again, it looks as though it's going to be very sweet, kind of fruity. Uh, kind of much like the one from last week. The, uh, uh, the phenol cask one. Overall sense of maturity with dried fruits, almonds and exotic spices adding real depth. Uh, palette is uh, Christmas cake, maple syrup and fresh red berries as I mentioned before. Um, tropical fruits emerge with orange peel and ginger. So uh, with a finish with tropical fruit, chocolate and spice. Wow. So it's kind of a lot going on with this whiskey. 21 different casks from the 70s right the way through to kind of uh, the last decade or so. I um, must admit I'm really, really looking forward to this. I have already given this a little nose already, but I'll give it another wee one just now. Uh, so once again, yeah, kind of quite spicy, but staying on that very, very fruity, the citric acid, sort of not citric acid, the uh, ah, cit uh, citrus fruits kind of smell. just a wee bit sort of spicy on the nose it just this one smells gorgeous much like the one from last week uh, so as usual what we're going to do is i'm going to take the first little sip and then we're gonna um i don't have any water here i'm i'm very unprepared for this so i think i might just be going for this straight up uh, and neat this week so slam javar Oh, wow. That's almost kind of, not aniseedy, maybe kind of aniseedy, almost um, cinnamon. Now, that's very different. That's not something I'm used to. That's very, very interesting. Mm. 
Very complex. Very, very complex whiskey, this one, I think. Uh, there's a lot going on. Oh, let's go in for number two. Yeah, there's a real burst of flavour in this. And, and like ginger. Wow. Wow. There's something going on with this and I don't know what it is, but I like it. This is really good. trying to identify some of the things again folks remember i'm not a professional whiskey taster in any way i just like drinking the stuff um but obviously hopefully over the over the weeks we'll start to i'll start to kind of you know get used to it but my word this has got something really special going for it i think This is unlike any whiskey that I've ever had. So it is spicy. And there's a lot of spice in there. Um, it is a little bit woody. So you can you can taste like a little bit of the um, you know, maybe the maybe the charred oak perhaps is what's given it that. But it's got something like on the on the swallow that just the, the taste and uh, yeah just everything just it bursts at the back of your throat wow i was really looking forward to this and i'm not being disappointed the question is is it better than last week's this is so fruity I don't know how to explain it. I really do not know how to explain this whiskey. Unique is really the only way that I can explain it. I have no real words, folks. This is different. Very, very different. really is something it's it's kind of like cinnamon aniseed kind of thing so right wow uh so see i haven't tried it with any water in it um but I'm going to give that a 7.9. That is really good. It's It would have been over 8. But. Um, the only thing. Which. Let's it down. Is it's not as easy to drink. As last week's one. So that's the only thing that lets that one down. But Tomatin Decades 2 is without a doubt the most unique whiskey that I've ever drank. Without fail. That would have probably been 
maybe with some water in it, it would probably go over eight. The chances are that's quite likely. Uh, so what I might do is I might do a second part. Unfortunately, I don't have time to kind of run about and re-record this just now. Uh, but I will try it with some water uh, later on and, uh, and let you know what I think. But that is a special, special bottle of whiskey. So yeah, 7.9. If I didn't say 7.9, I'm going 7.9. That could have been probably 8.4, 8.5. That's a good whiskey. That is very, very nice. And uh, just again, the only thing that lets it down is just a tiny little bit to... Um, it's not as easy to drink, sorry, uh, as as uh, the one from last week, without question. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there. As I say, I've kind of got to rush around this evening. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you want to uh, get in touch, you can do so via Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Just search for the Scottish History Podcast. Go to our website at scotthistorypod.com, and uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll uh, see you again next time for some more Whiskey Wednesdays.